Potatoes are a staple food in many people's diets. But what if I told you that potatoes can actually make you very sick and potentially even kill you if they are not stored properly? Yes, potatoes can be a very dangerous crop. Potatoes are in the nightshade family, a group of glycoalkaloid producing plants. This family is also made up of tomatoes, peppers, aubergines, and not forgetting the belladonna plant, or also known as deadly nightshade. These plants produce a glycoalkaloid called solanine as a defense mechanism to stop pests from eating them. After all, potato plants don't have teeth or claws to defend themselves, do they? Concentrations of this toxic gas solanine can be found in all parts of the potato plant and also in the tubers, but high concentrations of this solanine gas can be found in the fruits of the potato plant. Yes, potato plants also produce fruits as well, and they look very similar to unripe cherry tomatoes. But do not be tempted to eat these though, as they are extremely toxic. Not that you'd want to eat them anyway, as they'll taste very, very unpleasant. Consuming too much of this toxin has been known to cause symptoms such as headaches, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain, sweating, and in severe cases, if you consume enough, even coma or death. But thankfully, there has been very few reported cases of this because you'll usually know when a potato has high concentrations of solanine in them because they will have a very bitter taste. Plus, you'll know about them because they will turn green. So the problem with solanine in potato tubers comes when they are improperly stored. There have been a few reported cases in the past of improperly stored potatoes in root cellars, causing a few people to sadly lose their life as a result. There is one example of this back in 2013, a Russian family. Sadly, four members of that family died due to improperly stored potatoes in their cellar. They went down into the cellar and were knocked unconscious from the gas from the rotting potatoes and sadly died as a result. Now, you've probably seen green potatoes before, and this is caused by light exposure. And this causes chlorophyll production in the potato, giving them that green color. And this can indicate high levels of solanine in the potato. So it's best to cut these areas off, or if the whole potato was green, just discard of it altogether. And this is one reason why I apply a mulch to my potatoes as well, to stop the sunlight from reaching them tubers, which some of them tubers can be quite shallow in the soil. And obviously, if your potatoes have a foul, rotten smell, then don't eat those either. And sometimes I like to peel my potatoes as well because sometimes I've found that high levels of solanine can be present in the skin of the potatoes, giving them a bitter flavour. So sometimes I will peel my potatoes. So how do you ensure that you don't end up with green, toxic potatoes or rotting potatoes? Now, potatoes should be stored in a cool, dry, well-ventilated area that is dark. A temperature of around 10 degrees Celsius is ideal and a netted bag or a hessian sack is ideal for allowing proper ventilation so the potatoes don't rot. Now dark conditions are very important to make sure that the potatoes don't turn green and toxic and if you store your potatoes in this way they can last for many many months and potatoes should not be stored in the fridge as the starch inside the potatoes can turn into sugars turning your potatoes sweet which is not really what you want and obviously don't store your potatoes on the kitchen side where it's light because they will turn green in a matter of days and there will be high levels of solanine in them and they will make you sick if you eat them so don't store them out on the side now, what if those potatoes in storage start to sprout, or also known as chitting? This is very common with shop-bought potatoes if conditions get too warm, because shop-bought potatoes are many, many months old, 
already, so they can sprout in storage within a week or two. Now, if your potatoes start to sprout, if them sprouts are only really small, then you can probably rub these off or peel the potato and just eat the potato as normal. However, if the sprouts are quite big like this, then it's likely that the potato itself would have probably gone soft anyway and this could mean there could also be high levels of glycoalkaloids in the potato as well so you'll want to discard of these or even better plant these potatoes that are sprouted in your garden and achieve your own crop of potatoes yes they don't have to be destined for the bin you can plant these in your garden and get a crop of potatoes yourself so this video was not intended as health advice as I am not a doctor or a health professional. This video was intended for informational purposes only just to tell you the possible risks of eating green or improperly stored potatoes. I hope you found this video useful. If you did then hit that like button and if you haven't already subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon so you never miss whenever I upload new videos every single week. Remember, happy gardening and enjoy it no matter the weather. That's all for now. I'll see you in the next one. And also, don't eat any green potatoes.